<laughs> hey guys, <laughs> welcome back to our channel. I, I heart, heart use. use, and today we're going to talk about what? what to bring in your gig bag. What should you bring if you're going to ukulele club? I don't know stuff. Yes, ukulele club practice concerts, concerts. Uh, Maybe <laughs> you're going to go do a gig to hang out with friends, play at the park. Enjoy some free time. So, sometimes you just like get excited and you like, want to just pick up and go, right? Yep. But if you don't have everything ready to go, you're going to be at your location and you're going to be like, why didn't I bring this? Yes. Well, I need this. I need that. And you're going to be like, ah. Oh. Say no more, fam. <laughs> we got you covered. So we're going to talk about all the things that you're going to want to have ready to go, ready to go. So uh, th there's okay. this, this, there's we'll this, talk about this later. and then your ukulele case. You can bring me that case right there. Spread them. Your case. So you got your ukulele in your in your bag. Your, you got your case bag. You got your tote bag and. This bag, which we'll talk about in a hot, hot second. You could also bring the binder. No, no, no. No binder? We will go through it. Got it. Hold on. They can't even see the binder. That's my too personal bad, too binder. Bad, too bad, too bad. Okay, so. <clears throat> your music. You want to have a tote bag. Let's start there. Okay. So, it doesn't have to be like this, obviously. This, actually, I don't even know where we got this bag. We just, <laughs> I think, I think Granddad gave me this bag. Did he? Yeah, Maybe. it's from the AW, the waterboard. Oh yeah, yeah, he brought it. And it just happened to have a guitar on it, and I was like, "Granted, I need that bag." So he gave it to me. And he he would always come home with some goodies when he strength. went away and came back. He would give us some goodies. Um, so it sure is. So <laughs> so you want to have a tote bag? You can have. It could be a backpack. It could be like this. This is like a I don't know laptop bag. What about a duffel bag? Could be a duffel bag. It could be any number of types of bags. It could be a music bag with notes on it and it's a terrible clef. It could be any kind of bag that you can put things in. All right? Not it could be a really bag. bag. I actually have, like, it's a laptop bag slash travel office bag, like briefcase, but it's on wheels. How cool is that? And it has a bunch of little sections, you know, for all your little goodies. That's my favorite one to bring because it's on wheels. But so in general, it could be any bag you have laying around that, you know, has a little zipper or not. Um, so you want to have number one thing you want to have your music, um, unless you are a genius and have everything memorized, which some people do, you're going to want to have your sheet music with you. So I suggest bringing some sort of binder and this particular binder has sleeves in it but if you don't have this particular binder any binder will do and but you're gonna want to put your sheet music in sleeves which is why I'll put this right back in here which is why I'm not gonna bring that out yet I want to show you my personal binder this is my binder and and the so beginning <laughs> oh what is that oh That's i put cute. stickers in there oh i drew that <laughs> you drew that mm -hmm. That's adorable so like this is all my sheet music that i like to play um i got it from various books but basically you get these sleeves the clear sleeves and you put them in there um it works out it's it's great uh, on windy days you're gonna want to have a clip to hold it down we'll talk about that more later also but I have these I want to say in alphabetical order but yeah have all your stuff prepared make that a copy of it big. and put it in a sleeve it does not have to it can be like five songs or however many songs that you want and you put it in your binder okay so the other thing is you want to have your music book so I have Where's the other music book? You have one right there. This is a children's music book um, to learn ukulele. It's the book one. Um, it's a great course. It says it's the easiest ukulele course ever. 
it has online access um, so that's awesome that you can download and it says ages five and up this is Alfred's kids ukulele course I highly recommend this um, it goes through everything big print cute pictures very easy to understand um, your kids are gonna love this book it's great this book right here is also Alfred's uh, music course but basic ukulele myth. it's primary primarily geared towards adults so I like that too but my adult favorite, first teenagers okay <laughs> my <laughs> well teenagers and adults my favorite thing about this book is the end oh, look at this you're not gonna end. believe it <gasps> right you get promotion. a certificate look at that. and you you get promoted to the next book how cute is that it comes with a CD oh no 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 DVD a DVD okay what's the difference so, between a CD and a DVD CD is just music a DVD mm -hmm. is um, video and audio see we're here to learn okay <laughs> I'm teaching the young so I like this book also um yeah it's also very easy to understand it teaches you both tablature as well as sheet music studies so you can see that right there love highly uh, highly encourage you to get uh, a basic book if you're just starting out make sure that's in your whatever book your teacher tells you to get that's what you should have in your bag then and put that over there and today we are your teachers today we are your teachers okay the other thing is and you have one right over there um make sure you have a little notebook I got this at half price books and I think I got this at Walmart well I mean I like the way this one looks but you get whatever you or your heart beautiful. desires I like this because it has a, like a magnetic closure you get what makes you happy that's right Um, some of them have a little I like this too like how um you see like this little band some notebooks have a little band that go around it this one does not but you can you know whatever no, kind of notebook that you want just make sure you can write you can write lyrics you can write like if you're in class you can write your notes on there you know special little things tips and tricks that your teacher tells you if you have homework you can write, you can write down your homework you can write down your schedule for when you're gonna practice or write down when you practice and for how long you practice practice record practice record exactly okay oh, sorry something else that I have in this bag is this uh, ukulele stand I like this ukulele stand because it's classy that's important it's confusing it's that's not confusing right. no you gotta go do the other way no like this See, told you, not confusing. Confusing. You couldn't even get it. Stop it. <laughs> so it sits on the ground like this, and your ukulele sits right here. It is perfect. Here, let's let's try it out. Like that. Ta da! It's very nice. It has like a. This particular one has this kind of cushion right here. It's very nice, and just like that. It's flat and able to go right back into your bag. I call them the double Y's. So, this right here, what else? Oh, in this pocket, I have an extra set of strings. They could always break. Because your string can always break. Always. While tuning, while playing, anything. while just sitting. Like anything. A child with scissors, they're very dangerous. You want to have a tuner? which I have this tuner in this bag. I like to, I, I just got this bag from like an old, like I wanted to say it was a ring that was in here. But so like old jewelry bags or gift bags, you know, those little clear mesh ones, you could use that to put your tuner in. This is a Daddario tuner. I just put it in there. So you always know where it is. Boom. What else do I got in here? I have a stamp pad and the, you want to show them this? Uh, here. Nope. It stamps 
that it, it stamps the little so that you can string so yeah. you can write down if you don't say like okay so i play baritone ukulele but most music and songs that you get at ukulele club are going to be in regular ukulele tuning so if you don't play regular ukulele maybe you play bass or baritone or you're playing like this that tiny the sopranino that's in the key of d you're going to want to stamp this everywhere that it has the little finger positions and put in your finger positions for what you're going to be playing that's why i take it with me because i sometimes i like to take the baritone with me instead it sounds so beautiful it does or you know like if you want to take your little itty bitty soprano you know that sounds better in the key of b uh you're gonna need this so this is an ink pad this is not for everybody but i keep it in a ziploc bag because you know the ink ink is dangerous all uh, right what else do i have in here so if you're going to change your own strings you need to have one of these what in the world is that called so this can you guess spinning thingy my bobber no that changes strings it helps you put the um the tuning machine peg oh. in here and it winds it so it loosens it up or tightens it up okay this little tool right here is to pull out the pins if if okay, your ukulele has pins on that. Me. there you go the spinny tool the thingy goes in there and this pulls out the pins uh-huh and then at the, the sharp end that's how you clip off the strings. So it's a handy dandy tool that if you are going to change your own strings and you have your strings to do it, it's make right sure there. you have this too. Okay. Let's see what else I got in this bag. And I, this is just a regular, um, uh, like pencil case bag that you can get at Walmart. Yep. Um, you know, when the school sales are up back to school, a capo. <laughs> This is a cute capo. This is my Very personal cool. capo. It's an Elise Eklund capo. Love it because I love purple. Um, purple is her thing. It is. Her thinky thing. Uh, okay, so this is for straps that where it has a bottom strap button, yeah. but it doesn't have a top, top strap button. So that's this goes on the top by the headstock. You would so, tie it around the stock. I don't know that you need this, but, but if you do, then make sure you have it. If you do, or a friend does, a friend does, does my a friend might need it. This is a strap extender, same concept as this, but it's fancy. You want to show them the button on that? It's really pretty. So this is super cool because. Your teacher will love you if you bring it. It is nail clippers. Nail clippers. Make sure your nails are cut. And if you're one of those people that forgets, <laughs> it's really nice to have this in your in your bag. The reason why you need to clip your nails while playing with the lady because it will get painful while playing because your nails are not clipped. Correct. So <laughs> if you're one of those people that's tech savvy and you you have all your sheet music on your iPad. You're gonna need one of these to. This is a cheap little um, electronic pencil. So not everybody uses them, but you might want to use it. So make sure it's in your bag. That way you don't forget it. Okay. And then, um, of course, you can just use your hand. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. But if, if you, you want to use fancy. one regularly, make sure you have a cheap one in your bag. Who doesn't need a finger shaker? You just put it on your finger like this and you strum. Yep. Here, right. give an example. I don't know if I tune this all the way. I do not, but. Ta da! <laughs> I should have tuned that. I'm I'm just, I, I sabotaged you. I'm sorry. Yeah, she set me up. Um. So in my case, you want to bring, <laughs> because I have so many ukuleles, I can't get to all of them. You know, I can't play them all the time. And some of the times they get dust when they're hanging up on the wall. So you might want to have a microfiber cloth in your bag 
so that you can wipe the dust off of your ukulele or even fingerprints off of your ukulele. So I keep a little teeny tiny tin box. It you don't like have to box. have a tin box. It could be anything. It could be, what, ma'am? It could be a jewelry box, a bag thingy, a jewelry bag. This are um, those bag. Bucky's boxes with the um, mints in it or Altoid mint <laughs> box. You know, those Albert are perfect. So what I keep in this box. Oh dear. That's a lot of stuff. Nine volt battery. Oh, uh, if see, your instrument like this Lanakai requires a nine volt battery. I have a twenty. What is this? Twenty thirty two. This is for my tuners, and sometimes actually some ukuleles have this instead of a nine volt battery. If you need two, make sure you have two. Keep them inside here. I actually have USB. A USB. Do you need it? I don't know. But maybe you might. Maybe you're at somebody and they're like, I've got the music on my computer. You want it? Sure. Plug in your USB and pick up that sheet music off of their computer. See? You, you got to be thinking ahead. Some ukuleles require an Allen wrench. Make sure you put your Allen wrench in there. You might need it. Um, and picks. Do you need a pick? Not always. But this is one kind of pick. You want to show them a close-up? This is a weird pick. Uh... It's strange, I would say. It's for like finger picking. How do you it's do fine, it? you put it on your finger. Like this? Uh, yeah. Or like this. I don't get it. It's a thing. People do it. Let me let me try this. There you go. That's weird. It's a big thing. But you could just is it for weak people? No. Maybe. It's for like fast strumming. Oh. <coughs> you wait, you wait, you wait. Hold on. Out. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> Here's this felt pick. Ukulele players need a felt pick. Let's show them the felt pick. Felt picks are soft. They're fluffy. Yes. They're bendable. Now, if you have a strap and perhaps your strap is falling off of the um, strap buttons. Oh no, it's falling off. What do we do? You have yourself some rubber washers. Show them the washers. Rubber washers. They will save your day. Oh, I'll, let me take it out. Oh, you can see it. I think you can see it, right? I'm right. <laughs> they come with straps. A lot of times they come with straps. So you just know, make sure you have that in your ukulele bag, okay? So that's all the stuff that I have in here. Our washer looks like a donut. A little tin. If you do not see it. Put everything back so I don't forget where it is. I just like to keep it in this bag so it's not rolling around and I can't find it. Oh, and the most important thing that you need to have is a pencil and an eraser. It looks like a pencil, but it's an eraser. Completely an eraser. Look, it bends. Yes. Okay, most important thing. And I also put that in my little bag okay are we done with this entire bag we're done with this entire bag now let's talk about this so this i love this comes from donner uh there's a couple of other brands that produce this pro like type of thing um open it up I'm just showcasing how to carry it you know i i love this kit comes with the stand it is a, it's a it's a Sturdy stand, okay? Has rubber on the bottom so that you can. Oh, let me open it up. Ah. <laughs> Might want to open it up. Yeah, don't yeah. do what I did. That hurts. Okay, so you're not gonna scuff up anything, any hardwood floors. It has rubber on the bottoms, okay? Um, and you just do it like this. Way better than those, you know, um, what is it? Aluminum. Those little thin metal stands. Um, so what she's doing right there is cool. Um, that is for tabletop. Because sometimes when we go to ukulele club, we got a bunch of tables. Maybe we're at a hotel, in a conference room, and there's a whole bunch of tables. You can put your stand, look at that. If it's right on the table, it's perfect. Love it. Um, so take that out. 
Got it? And so this folds perfectly so it fits in the bag and it has your uh, sheet music holders and it has this little uh, slot there. You put it right on there. Yeah, the slot looks like this. And it's ready to go. Stand. So I'm going to angle it to where I need it. Tighten and it. keep in mind, it's plastic. This part is plastic, but I love it. It's I sturdy. love it because it's portable. It's ready to go wherever you need to. This also comes in it, and I love it. And it comes with a little charger. You want to show them? Go ahead and show them. Where's the charger for it? No clue where it is. Oh, this oh. one? Yeah, it right does. There. It char charges. It's in the back, and you clip it onto your stand, and it's two little lights. Maybe. <laughs> Look at that. It looks like a little bug. It doesn't get better than that, folks. So the last thing that I don't actually have in here, I think somebody took it out. Mm, I'm, I'm, oh, uh-oh. Oh, I assume when you have that windy day, you could put this over your sheet music so that's it doesn't what I'm fly saying. away. Somebody took my clip. Oh, I, mean, you got I had a clip in here. Clips are already there. No, no, I had a clip. Well, too bad. Clips are clips. I am. Um, Can I even turn this on? This will do the trick. It is a clip. So if you don't have your clip, you can put that on. But any clip you will do, you know, like potato chip bag clip, put that. I had actually a music clip. Oh, it's in here. Oh. <gasps> ah! Look. Isn't that, is that cute? It has music on it. Oh. So it's a clip. But you can get, you know, any clip will do. Um, I knew I had a clip. Um, so if it's windy out where you're at, that'll hold your sheet music right onto there. Okay. Let's put everything back. That is it. No, That's everything. It all fits in this bag. Right. It's easy to That you want to take with you. Uh, sometimes, like if you want to get real fancy, you could get a little, you know, um, the kind of suitcase that you would take on board. What's that called? No clue. Carry on. Carry on. Like you could take it, put all of this will fit in a carry on bag. And so then it's just that and your um, your case for your instrument. That is perfect. Um, but that's real fancy. So if you don't, like we don't always have the money to get all those things right, right out the gate. So this will do, this will do right here. Uh, and, I, and I actually really love this. As I said, a lot of people um, make these. There's a lot of different brands that make this kind of setup. But I like the Donner one. I will put the link to that in the description. And that way you can go on Amazon and check out what the price is right at that particular time that you're viewing this video because the prices do change on these things. So that's it. Do you have anything to add? Nope. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you for hanging with us to the end. Please subscribe. Check out our Instagram. Check out our TikTok. Check out our Facebook. <laughs> that's right. And we will see you next time. What? Next what do you mean time. you don't know? Next oh, time. Me... So what? Slap the notification bell. I don't Hit, know the... Hit subscribe. the subscribe or like button. And smash the like button. button. <laughs> and leave a comment below. Yeah. Let us know what you want to know about. Yes. And Show we your will opinion in the comments. Let your opinion be heard. And um, we will we will respond back to you as soon as humanly possible. Ready? See you next time. Oh wait. Ready? See, See you, you next, next time. time. Making me do this.